Hey TV fans, it's Greg the TV Genius and I'm back again. Today we're doing a video about Salem Season 2 Episode 1. That episode was called Cry Havoc. Oh man, what a great season premiere. I was so scared the whole time. It was spooky. It had my heart racing. It was just awesome. It was a great season premiere. It was exciting. Um, I love where the characters are this season. It's awesome. Uh, we've got a new character. He's a doctor. He's talking about science. It's going to be cool to see what happens with him. I can't wait to see where it goes. Uh, this season looks like it's off to a pretty good start. Witch Wars are coming, and I can't wait to see the Witch Wars. Um, my last video, I was a little off about a few points that I made. Um, I'm sorry, I was a little excited. I went went a little too fast. Um, I don't make any diagrams or anything for my videos, so I just come off the top of my head. And sometimes I, I, I you know, go a little too fast for my thoughts. So um, they had to to complete, complete the grand right. They had to have 13 deaths. And Cotton Mather's father, Increase Mather's, was the 13th death, the 13 innocent who dies, and to open the malum and start the Grand Reich. And this year, this season, it looks like we're leading the way for Satan to come. Um, we've got John Alden. He's with the Indians. They've healed him from his gunshot wound from the end of the season, or the end of season one. And he doesn't like witches. He's he's on a mission to kill all witches. He is coming to Salem. He's been branded. They said he'll never be the same again after being branded and tied to the great spirit. So I wonder what that means for John. I wonder where he's going to go. I think it's going to be interesting. I don't think he's going to be able to kill Mary Sibley unless Mary Sibley takes to this new doctor in town, not doctor in town, which it looks like she might do. That's my prediction. I'm thinking, you know, they're going to become love interests for each other in this season, and it's going to be a very interesting spin on things to see what happens and how John Alden handles that when he comes to town to kill the witches. Um, I'm wondering how the Indians have made him you know, changed his mind, have made him this way, because at the end of last season, he was all set to run away with Mary Sibley. I'm thinking he might think that she had, you know, betrayed him or something like that. I'm not sure. It's going to be really cool to see what happens next. Um, I'm loving Mercy. Oh, man. She's definitely my favorite character of the show. I can't wait to see what happens with her. Um, this season, it's looking pretty crazy. She's killed the elders. Oh, man. She killed the elders. It's awesome. Um, Mary Sibley's got her son, her and John Alden's son lives, and he has been raised by the Dark Lord, which I think is Satan, and I can't wait to see what they do with that. I mean, the cover of Salem is, you know, an upside-down cross with a witch crawling up it, so pretty sure Satan's coming. They're leading the way for Satan to come, and that's what this season's going to be about. It's going to be so cool. Um, I can't wait to see what happens next. Uh, Anne, Anne Hill, oh, man. Uh, she's pretty crazy this season. She slid her wrist in the bathtub and laid there, and then her powers kicked in, and she just, all her blood just sucked back up into her veins, and she was fine. Um, I can't wait to see what happens with her. She's just such an awesome character, and uh, the show is just full of so many interesting characters and so many interesting plot twists and twists and turns, and it's just going to be so cool to see what happens this season. I know it's going to be a great season. Um, the Doctor... He went to the epicenter of the plague and found Isaac in the middle of it. And Isaac seems to have some sort of resistance to it. I'm thinking it's magical. It has something to do with why the Malum, you know, sprayed him in the face. I think he's developed a resistance because the Malum started with him. They need to keep him alive so he can infect more people. Um, I'm not sure about the doctor. I think the doctor might be hiding some things because he didn't seem too concerned about wandering off into the woods and into the center of where these witch pox are coming coming from and just touching Isaac without gloves or any type of medical equipment and breathing with him. I mean, it just seems, it just seems weird to me. Um, there seems to be a new witch in town that Increase has tortured in the past. She's got uh, scars and she killed her helper. So I'm thinking she has another helper somewhere and I'm thinking that doctor might be it. That's just my prediction. I might be wrong. This is only the first episode. I'm just throwing it out there. Go ahead and you know tell you what I think. I can't wait to see what happens in episode three or two. And Mercy is, like I said, it's awesome. She's killed the elders and she wrote, war is coming. And it's awesome. In fire in front of Mary Sibley's house. And Tichuba and Mary Sibley don't seem to be getting along right now, but I'm thinking they're going to you know mend things just for the time being so they can fight 
mercy. And whoever this new witch is that's coming to town to find out who started the Grand Rite. And it's just going to be so cool to see what happens next. Join me, guys. Subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video. And yeah, I'll see you next time.